just realized that and realized that people who have served this chapter this semester um, in Spoon, I'm not going to forget you. <laughs> they got forgot before, but as church for me, you've done a lot as well. So thank you all so much uh, for your work. <coughs> to my parents, it's an amazing thing because, um, you know, you, you make it through life, and every one of us has people that have just sacrificed so much for us. And my parents have sacrificed so much for me. And so there's not enough words that I can even express to be able to uh, truly say how much I appreciate them. So thank you so much. You can share. You can share. <laughs> Standing by my side to my, my brother and sister. To Chris, thank you for for your dedication to this chapter. Um, you know, the words cannot express in many ways as well what you meant to this and the work that you put into this. So whatever we do moving forward is in many ways in thank you to what you've done, what Lance has done, what Sharon continues to do. And so if we can just give one more round of applause for all of them. With all the great gamer crowds, 
If it's not for service, we should stay. But the question is, what is, what is even service? You know, leadership is service. It's not titles. And I have known a lot of leaders in my life without titles. And I've known a lot of folks with titles that were not leaders. And I want you to remember that. Because it is not the title that makes you who you are. It's the servant, it's the person that does what they're supposed to do in those moments that makes you a leader. Now, how many of you have been to Hector Hall already? Raise your hand. That is an awesome place, isn't it? They spent a lot of money on it, but it was well worth it. But it was funny because I was thinking about that. I was mulling over this as I went through campus one day. And I looked up and there's an archway when you go into Heavener Hall. And above the archway, it quotes an Old Testament Bible verse. Micah 6, 8. It says, and what does the Lord require of us? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. And I looked up at that and I just kind of thought about it for a little bit. And some of the folks who know me know sometimes I get lost and I'll just start to think about things. But I looked at that. And I believe it hits home for what we here are all about and what service is all about. That service is leadership. To act justly. Think about the word to act justly. It's not just to, didn't just say justly, but to act, to do something about justice. To do the right thing in our society. To have integrity, to have honor, to have character. To be bold, to stand up for what is right. And to take on what is wrong. That in many ways your actions will speak louder than your words. To love mercy. You know, be loving. As the class comes in, be loving to other people. Be merciful to other people. Mercy is sacrifice. And if we just and Gary had everybody stand, for you initiates, you are not here because of you in many ways. Let's get that clear. Because there are many people, and I walk around campus to this day as I stand here today, say there are so many smarter people on this campus than me. There's some people up here not in there. <laughs> there are a lot wiser people than me. But it's the sacrifice of people up here and people down there that make you who you are. Mercy is sacrifice. And we all make mistakes. I've made my fair share. We all need mercy at a certain time. But there are people needing mercy all over this world today. But not just all over our world, but in your classes. Loving mercy. There's people all over this campus, in your organizations. There are people in this community who need mercy. They need you to reach out. They need you to lend that helping hand. And there's walk humbly. That's something that sometimes we struggle here as Lord Blue King. Hum humility is a special gift in many ways. But I, I like the way this is walk humbly. Because you're going somewhere when you're walking. You're moving forward when you're walking. You're coming somewhere. And this is that journey of life. And journey throughout life. When you're walking, you're taking steps forward. But it's about how you carry yourself when you're making that walk. Because all of you all are very bright. You made it to the best university in the state of Florida. You're in the most prestigious leadership honorary in the state. But it's about how you carry yourself when you go throughout this campus, throughout these communities. When you make it one day, Carry yourself and walk humbly. Never pray that you're not entitled. Because I think that we struggle, each and every one of us, with being entitled. 
I was just joking around with Rick Rob a few minutes ago to the law school. They're pulling some of our parking. And if you go to the University of Florida, there's no parking on this campus. Absolutely none. It's a set at the law school. I've gotten, I think, probably five or six parking tickets in my day, and that's probably pretty good. But because we at the law school are used to having our parking, when you take away parking, people get angry. And I'm sure Dean Dawson, as you saw up here, and he was very monotone, it was probably because he had had so many emails about the parking situation <laughs> at the University of Florida Law School. But I pray you're not entitled as you come in here, that you keep working hard. Because entitlement, that's what takes away that sense of mercy, that sense of humility. So, as you move forward, you reach out to who you need to reach out to. Humility is treating everybody with respect. And knowing that as you treat people with respect, that you will be given respect. Not that you deserve respect when you don't treat people with respect, but that as you treat people with respect in every single person that you meet, take that in every single person that you meet, no matter what job they do, no matter where they are, whether they're working here or whether they're working in the greatest law firm in the state of Florida, they deserve respect. And that's walking home. So I hope that for my presence, that I'm the leader that serves you by doing the right thing, by mercifully sacrificing myself for y'all and for others. And then I walk humbly while I'm here in this position. Because this world, my friends, is in desperate need of leadership. Real leaders, desperate need of real leaders who will take hard stands, who will do bold things, not just battles. And that is what Florida Blue Key was founded on 91 years ago, a leadership honorary to serve the University of Florida, the state of Florida, and to serve each other. The next time you walk under that archway of Heavener Hall, but the next time you look at this pin that's now on your jacket, see, I'm never going to get the box, I'm going to hear that. <laughs> but the next time you look at that pin that's on your jacket, that you will know that this is not the end. This does not represent the end of your leadership experience, but rather this is the beginning of your service to this university, to this state and to our country, our friends, and those around us. So my charge to you today is go lead. But do it in a way that you're acting justly, you're doing the right thing. You love your mercy, you're reaching out to people, and you're walking humbly. Thank you so much.